Hey y'all, it's Deb, welcome back. In today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to make your own wipes. Now, there are so many different ways that you can do this. I'm gonna teach you the cheap way, the easy way, and the fast way, because isn't that what we're all looking for? So the only thing that you're gonna need are a pair of scissors, some thread, and just a basic sewing machine. So let me show you this. On this wipe, you're gonna see all the threads that are here. This is because I used my serger to make these. You don't need one. Don't go buy one unless you already have one. If you've already got a serger, you can just boop, 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 and they're super quick. We're gonna pretend like you don't have one, that you only have a basic sewing machine, like the one that you would get at Walmart. Let me walk you through the materials that you're gonna need. My intention for teaching you how to make these is that they are going to replace your makeup wipes, your paper towels, your um, sponges that get gross, and then every couple of months you need to buy some more and replace them. This is to help you save so much money. But if you want to use these on your face, <laughs> this is very important. I learned this from my dermatologist. Most of the time when you wash your face, you wanna use something very soft, or the pads of your fingers, right? When you wash your face, it's nice and soft. It's not gonna cause micro abrasion, like scrapes or cuts in there. So bacteria can't get in there and cause acne. So this is really important. And you can find this at Walmart. Don't feel like you need to go to a fabric store. You don't have to do that. Go to Walmart, look at their quilting cotton. This is just the cheap stuff. This is like, they come in every color. And if you go to Walmart these days, they're gonna have them in pre-cut, um, pre-cuts. <laughs> you can buy it by the yard, which if you wanna make like 10 of these, that's what I recommend. If you just wanna make two or three for yourself, you can get it in like a smaller rectangle and then cut them up. So you need cheap, don't worry about the quality, cotton, and here's why. The more that you wash these, the softer this is gonna get, okay? Now, we need a backing, see? I use these to take my makeup off. <laughs> this is clean, it's just stained with mascara. The other side, I highly recommend, if you wanna keep your face as clear from acne as possible, you wanna use flannel. The more you wash flannel, the softer it will get, number one. Number two, it is absorbent, which is great for something like that, which means you can also use this to clean your furniture. It's not gonna scratch up any of your furniture. So both sides are gonna be nice and soft. This, for the cotton, just pick out whatever you love. Totally up to you. By the way, these make great, cheap, personal gifts. I use them at Christmas, on birthdays, if someone's having a baby, um, if somebody's getting married. This makes such a really great gift that's <laughs> super, super cheap. Okay, so you want some cotton, you want some flannel, and this comes in a million different colors. You can get print or solid. And then you're gonna need thread for your machine and just your basic sewing machine. It doesn't need the bells and whistles. It just needs to have a straight stitch, which they all will. And you need a pair of scissors. So the first thing that you're gonna do is you're going to get your cotton, your quilting woven cotton. Quilting, yes, quilting. <laughs> you're gonna cut squares that, are, that measure seven by seven or eight by eight or nine by nine. If you want them really big, you can. But seven by seven will fit the size, and I have really big hands. <laughs> so seven by seven is gonna fit your hand. You want seven by seven of the quilting cotton, and then you wanna also do seven by seven or eight by eight or nine by nine of your flannel. You want these the same size, okay? So let's say you're gonna make a set of five. You want five of these, and you want five of these. Then what you're gonna do, and I'll, sh I'll point the camera down in just a minute, you're gonna take your quilted cotton, and your cotton has two sides, right? So it has the printed side, which is the side that you wanna see, and it has the back. I'm trying to remember what else it's called. I can't remember. <laughs> so this is the front, essentially, and this is the back. Flannel is a little different. Flannel, you don't have to worry about it. The back is the same as the front, okay? So the first thing that you're gonna do, and I'll, again, I'll point the camera down so you can see. You're gonna take your fabric with the right side showing, oh, that's what it is. It's the right side and the wrong side. You're gonna have the right side showing. You're going to place your flannel directly on top and make a sandwich. Let me change the camera position and I'll show you what I mean. So you're gonna have your quilting cotton 
with the right side up. So this is the right side, this is the wrong side. So you want this facing up toward you. You've got your flannel. Again, it doesn't matter what side that it is. And you wanna line these up. Doesn't have to be perfect, because we're gonna fix that. And you're just gonna sandwich those just like that. What you're gonna do is do, like let's say you're making five, you're gonna do all five the same way. Then what we're gonna do is go over to our sewing machine and you see how like a square has four sides, right? We're only going to sew side one, side two, and side three. We're gonna leave this open so we can turn it inside out, okay? That's very important. You don't wanna sew all the way around this because it's gonna be, <laughs> it'll be backwards. So again, you're gonna sew side one, side two, side three. Let's go over to the sewing machine and I'll show you. So I've turned on my machine and mine is just a simple brother. You can get this on Amazon. I, they may have it at walmart.com, but all you need is a sewing machine with a simple straight stitch. If you're not sure, you can come over to the key and you see where 01 is a straight stitch. That's all you need. You don't really need to worry about the sizing of the stitch or the length or any of that. And then what you really wanna do is make sure that your thread matches your fabric. Again, to me personally, this is not a big deal. I just keep white loaded up on there most of the time. <laughs> so again, what we're gonna do is sew up sides one, two, and three. Okay, you see how the needle is still, sorry, I'm trying to make sure it's clear. The needle is still down into the fabric. Watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, I'm sorry if the video is shaking. I'm gonna lift my presser foot up while the needle is still down. Turn my project, straighten it up, lower the presser foot back down, and then I can keep sewing into my square. Again, the needle has been left down in there. Press your foot comes up, and this is the third side, so we've already done two, this is number three. Press your foot goes down, and listen, you wanna make sure that your needle and thread catch both layers. Okay, so we're gonna keep going. Okay, now I'm gonna stop. Lift the presser foot. Remember, we don't want to sew side number four. This is side number four. I'm going to press, this is the button that lifts up the needle. I'm sorry, let me get this into focus. Everything is up. I'm going to pull this. Let me cut these, sorry. Let me cut these threads off and I'll show you what we're going to do. So right now, this is what we have. We sewed side one, side two, and side three, and again, my stitches are not perfect. This is okay, that's not the goal. What we're gonna do is we're gonna open this up and we're gonna flip it inside out. Okay, so this has been turned inside out and you see where sewing that has made like a, kind of like a pillowcase almost. This is not gonna come out. Let me show you how we're gonna close this off so it doesn't look bad and it won't come undone when we wash it. Okay. I've got my pointer fingers, I'm sorry, let me do the best I can. I've got my pointer fingers in that separating the two layers, right? Let me show you on one side. What I'm gonna do is take my fingers and force and fold the fabric down. Hang on one second, sometimes it takes a minute. And I'm gonna pinch it together closed like that. You see that? None of the raw edges are, are showing. I almost said sewing. <laughs> so you can't see any of the raw edges because we don't want that either. That'll come undone when we wash them in the washing machine. All I'm gonna do is pin this and then I'm gonna sew it closed. Okay, so I've pinned it closed just to hold it so that when I put it through my sewing machine like that, I don't constantly have to hold it. Now, this is very important. Don't sew over your needles. <laughs> You're gonna break, I mean, you could, you could get really hurt, don't do that. So as I go slowly, I will be pulling the needles out as I go, and then that'll be done for our wipe. 
Now, as I sewed this part closed, this side, I'm going to keep going all the way around. That is called top stitching. What that will do is when I wash this in the washing machine and throw it in the dryer, and you totally can. Actually, the more you wash it, the better it gets. That is called top stitching. And when I wash and dry it, that means it's gonna wanna lay flat instead of it all wanting to bunch up. And then you won't have to iron them and they stay really nice. I'll show you the finished project product when I'm done. And that's what top stitching looks like when it's done. And again, this is not perfect. See that? That's not perfect. Who cares? Nobody cares. Especially if you're just making these for yourself. Nobody cares. If you're making them for a gift, you probably want to be more careful than I was. But that's what they look like when they're done. The more you wash it, the softer they are. And there's your wipe. And it's great. And then when you wash it, it'll lay nice and flat because of that top stitching. That's it. And these are probably the cheapest, most practical gift that are personal that you could make and give them away. So FYI for Christmas. And that is how you make wipes. I hope this was helpful. I hope you learned something. Stay tuned for more beginner sewing videos. Y'all have a really great day. Bye.